Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. I'm here with the Season Pass uh, reward cards for free-to-play players. I'm going to give you my quick take on which car you should pick and why. First of all, the best-looking car arguably is the uh, Huayra Roadster, but it is also the slowest car of the pack. And this car, unfortunately, does not have any special tunes that would make it low-performance point high EVO. Uh, Pagani fusions are relatively rare for newer players, so if you're starting Season Pass as a relatively new player, I would definitely mark this one off. But that being said, it's been used in a few events, uh, Italian-based events, and any events that kind of dealt with Pagani cards at all. So it's not that the car will be completely useless, it's just that until those kind of events come along again, you're unlikely to need to use it. The GTR 50 prototype and the 600 LT Spider are about on par with their final fully maxed times and both cars have relatively easy to get fusions uh, although it's unlikely either one will get stage sixes without some luck so the reality is you can always pay for pedicrates to get those stage sixes if you really want to max out these cars but that being said between the two i would lean towards the 600 lt spider as the better car with more potential use outside of a specific event like Showdown, uh, where this would be the maxed and Apex car, which is still unlikely to happen. So the 600LT has the capability of being tuned for live racing. Of course, unfortunately for me, that's secondhand knowledge because I don't have this car. I took a break during those few seasons when it was a um, milestone, and unfortunately, I just never acquired it. But Nonetheless, based on what I know of the Nissan, which again is a nice looking car if you like that look, it's another GTR and it's nothing about it. There's absolutely nothing about it that makes it stand out. So therefore, it's not an outstanding car that I would take over the 600LT, which I've seen in live running quite successfully versus either one of these guys, which you generally don't see in live because people don't win with them and therefore they're not using them. So out of the three, my advice, if you were looking just to get one that may have some long-term use outside of specific events or just um, showdown here and there, because neither one of these are really apex cards for showdown for a long time, then I would stick with the 600 LT Spider. So that's the free-to-play grouping. Now, in the paid race pass grouping, we have three cars, including the McLaren Cena, the TS1, and the MC12. Now, out of those three, I would lean towards recommending the McLaren. Again, I guess I have a bias towards McLaren in this situation. The sad truth is McLaren actually does not have very good live racers. Um, and none of these three cars in the grand scheme of things are great live racers at this point. Uh, and out of the three, this is the only one you're gonna have fusions for if you're a newer player. Uh, Maserati fusions are gonna be very rare. And the TS1, which is uh, its own uh, Zenvo Fusions, even more rare. So chance of you building either of these cars up to a point where it's going to be useful or as useful as the McLaren is unlikely to be quick. Therefore, unless you're just collecting at this point, in which case it doesn't really matter which one you go for, go for the one you like the look of, uh, the McLaren might be more useful to people that are actually looking to build it to do something with it. Uh, it, it can be tuned to beat Dino. It can't do pretty well for Tempest purposes. And again, McLaren Fusions are easier to get, but same as the other three, you're probably not gonna easily see stage sixes for it. And unlike Gold Star cars, you cannot use Petacrates to get those stage sixes. So you're at the mercy of the random number generator um, running events and running you know, the trials that gives us stage six every so often. And, and those good old bronze crate loyalties. So you're at the complete mercy of the game when it comes to collecting stage sixes. So unless you have some already, uh, this isn't gonna be a easy uh, process for you to max out these cars. Although um, this car does share stage six with a yellow star version. And I believe this car may have a yellow star version. I, I don't think so though. I think this is the only one that has a yellow star version. Don't quote me on it. Uh, MC12, I don't even have MC12, so I don't really know, but I believe this was a paid car. Uh, and if you like Maserati and you want the MC12, I don't believe it's a terrible car, but again, 
I haven't seen them really used in live racing, nor was I really drawn to it when it was introduced and was around uh, for the sheer fact that it's hard to build and I don't see a lot of utility in it. So unfortunately for people that are fighting their way through race pass, there really isn't anything truly outstanding coming out of this as a prize car. Um, even out of all six, if I were to say the best choice out of all six of them, I would still lean towards 600 LT, L, uh, LT Spider simply because of what I know of its capabilities when tuned properly. Uh, I, and out of the brands, I would lean towards McLaren over some of these others simply because Fusions would be easier to get. So that's my recommendations. Again, I unfortunately don't have the 600 LT. Um, I could play with one on a separate account, but bottom line is, based on what I know, it is a viable live racer, and there are plenty of people that are pretty successful with them in certain lobbies. I've seen them in 9s, 10s, 8s even. Uh, so they're obviously decent enough cars that people are using them. So let me know your thoughts, and um, good luck getting to the end of the race pass. As you can see, I'm actually trying a little more this season, simply because I don't have the 600 LT, and it's one of the cars I'm trying to acquire. In any case, feel free to comment and uh, give us your input. I mean, if you know more about these cars than I do, and some of you guys do, feel free to chime in in the comments, let people know, uh, so you better help them get the right car after all that hard work to get to the end of the race pass. If you like the video, leave a like if you like my channel and would like to see when videos like this get put up. Subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll get those notifications. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.